Good afternoon, everyone. Well, it's afternoon for me right now. Today, we're going to talk about variation and range. Conversationally, these terms are sometimes used interchangeably, but of course, in science, they have their own special uses and the way you write them and everything. So let's take a look. So variation and range are not the same thing. Okay, we're going to start out with two data sets, data set one and data set two, both measured in centimeters, and then you can see a whole list of numbers in those data sets. So when you're talking about variation, what you want to say is the lowest number to the highest number in a data set. So let's take a look at data set two. And if we look over here, we can see that the lowest number in data set two is 159 and the uh, largest number is 178. So we will write the variation like that, 159 centimeters to 178 centimeters. Now, you can replace this word two with a dash if you'd like, but it's still, regardless, it's still the lowest number to the highest number. And that's how you do variation. It's pretty straightforward. So now let's talk about range. We've got the same data sets as we had before, but range is the difference between the highest and lowest numbers in a data set. And you know from math that difference means um, the sub we need to subtract, right? So let's look at the range for data set two. And we know from when we looked before that um, the highest number is 178 and the lowest is 159. So we subtract those and we get 19 and so the range is 19 centimeters. Great. So why would you do that? What, how is that gonna help you at all? So let's talk about that. Okay, the lower the range, the more precise the data set. And if you think back to the video you watched on precision and accuracy, you may remember that precision is the reproducibility of this of um, the data like every time you measure the same thing do you get a similar or the same result so it makes sense that the smaller the range the closer the numbers that you got are to each other so they would be more precise so let's take a look at that now we'll look at data set one and we haven't looked at that so the range for data set one 171 centimeters my uh, minus 145 centimeters gives you 26 centimeters, so that is the range. If we bring back, <laughs> if we bring back the range from data set two, you remember that it's 19 centimeters. So which data set is more precise? You got it. Data set two is more precise than data set one. Now, what can that do for you? Well, the more precise the data the less likely that you have um, experimental errors or you know, some sort of blunder in uh, the technique you use to do the measuring or gathering the data. So um, the more precision, the more precise, the less um, the influence, I guess, of experimental and error and blunder. So now how do you remember the difference? So here's what I do. And if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, I'm sure you can come up with some other way. So I take the very with the word variation and make it into two the V into two arrows, and each arrow is pointing to one of the numbers in variation. So I can remember that variation is made up of two numbers, whereas range is only made up of one. So that's my little tip for the day, and uh, it um. If you have any questions, please, please bring them to class. And otherwise, thank you for watching.